Uh, welcome, Hamish. You've got some innovative plumbing ideas to share I with us today. I do, Mel. Okay, so one of the things that I find with my clients is whenever we start talking renovations, alterations, and the bits and pieces that go with it, you bring up plumbing, um, people scream. Uh, they naturally assume that it's going to be very expensive because we're going to have to cut through concrete floors. But no. There's a product that's going to save that. Well, no, and this is the great thing. This is why you are here, because it does put a lot of people off. So what's the solution, Hamish? OK, the solution for things such as kitchens, um, laundry, shifting those, bathrooms, putting in en suites, uh, whether they go down to the man cave or however you decide to do it, um, is a product called SaniFlow. And it's been around for about 60 years, Mike. OK, cool. So what exactly is SaniFlow? OK, to explain it, you can now install like a, a wet area without pulling up the concrete slab, uh, because it's a product that goes in the wall yeah. and it runs a 20 mil pipe that then feeds up the wall and across the ceiling and down into your wastewater systems. So you can basically put a toilet wherever you desire. Oh, love it. So love the sound of it. How is it possible? How does it work? Okay, so the, the products are broken down into four different families, okay? So uh, this means that there's pretty much anything for whatever kind of reno or alteration, whatever you're planning on doing. The first one we're going to talk about is the macerator pump, okay? The technology of a macerator pump is very similar to your blender. So it, it finely particleizes the materials. I know you're thinking blender and sewage, um, yes, but yes, that's okay. Normal. It gives you the idea, okay? Yeah. So it uses fast rotating blades to grind and process the wastewater from the toilet basin, uh, and then it passes through the slim pipe, 20, 25 mil, and um, possibly you can then run it up through the ceiling, as I said, and you can take it out to uh, the nearest point for your sewage system. Of course, it can't go into standard gully traps. Mm -hmm. So this, I mean, these, these are perfect for creating any sort of bathroom ensuite sort of section that you really want around your house. I don't know, I'm sitting here picturing them in my head already. Well, no, Where could I put one? Well, I, mean, you, I think the Anywhere options are endless want. now, aren't they? I know, I might move my mother to the barn. OK, OK, so I love the slimline pipe because that opens up a world of opportunities, but if you had to put it up a wall and through a ceiling, how does it get the waste it's away? It's very easy because the sandy flow macerator defies gravity, so nice. it pumps the waste uphill, so it's perfect for that sort of basement reno. Cool. Okay, Brilliant. next thing we're going to have a look at is the Sani Compact. This is the first all-in-one macerating toilet suite, so that the whole thing is one piece and it goes in. It features a water saver cisternless flush, uh, so you can add a small ensuite or extra toilet anywhere you want. That is very <laughs> awesome. And, and it's good looking. And it's got self closing toilet lid, which is really good for all of us who often get in trouble with that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is grey water pumps. Okay. Okay, so they're going to push the wastewater away from a wide range of fixtures from kitchen sinks, dishwashers, showers, bars, the laundry. Basically, you name it, it's going to do everything. These don't have a blade, so they're simply there to push the water um, away from these fixtures. Grey water pumps are perfect for most home improvement projects, particularly kitchen renovations. You can also use grey water pumps to add to a sink to an alfresco kitchen area. That works really well, or a kitchen nice. island bench. OK, cool. So I've got this. So you're renovating your kitchen. You're thinking, I want to put my dishwasher somewhere. But instead of having to pay for expensive plumbing, you can use one of these systems, put the dishwasher where you want it. That's exactly right. right. There's no okay. cutting through the concrete floor, uh, which okay. we want to avoid like the plague. No, you're right. OK, so let's talk about a bigger project, say like a tiny home, which are very popular, or a granny flat. OK, so this is when you're going to need something like the Sandy Flow list lifting station. OK, this will handle grey and black wastewater. So that's the stuff from the washing machine and the so sink and stuff, and the stuff from the toilet. Right, that's the black stuff then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you've been eating, but yeah, OK. Yeah, I mean, it's perfect for bigger projects, OK? So you can basically put your laundry, kitchen, bathroom, anywhere you want at right. that point. Oh, that is really awesome. So it's pretty endless, really, isn't it? You, you have do? endless options. So is there anything to happen with the design side of things? Because, because I wouldn't know where to start. There is. Jump on the SaniFlow website, saniflow.co.nz, and have a look at the Your Project tool. It's going to help you uh, create everything you need to know about your SaniFlow products and where they go, where to get them from, from the hardware stores or your plumbing supplies. But one thing to remember, you are going to save a lot of money not breaking up concrete, but you still do need a registered plumber to do the installation. Fair so enough. sorry, Mike, no playing around in the weekend. Excellent. Hey, no, thank you so much. That was fascinating. Love yeah, that. it really Excellent. was. Yeah, Thanks, Hamish. Work.